Hello, Tracy Hugelmeyer here from VintagepreneurUniversity.com, where I help vintage sellers start, grow, and scale their business on Etsy. I also own my own vintage business rustic guide that I've had on Etsy since 2013, and I love, love, love what I do. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get your customers to read your item descriptions. So how many of you have ever thought or heard this statement? Nobody ever reads my item description. Well, I actually challenge you or and whoever is saying that on that particular point because think about it. Have you ever read an item description of something that you were interested in buying? I mean, yes, right? If It's kind of like if you're interested about buying something, you usually want to know everything about it to make sure it's the right choice for you. It's exactly what you need and want. I do get it. When somebody reaches out to you and asks you a question that's in your item description, clear as day, you kind of feel like, why aren't people reading my item descriptions? But I promise you they are reading your item descriptions. Of course, there are going to be exceptions to that. But a lot of people are reading your item descriptions. Now, you have to think of your entire process as leading somebody down the line of purchasing your items, right? I mean, it starts from, let's say they're doing a search and you have a photo, uh, you know, your item comes up in the search and your photo pops out. So they click on it. You know, they're super interested on in your product at that point. And then they look at the rest of the photos and then they're still like, okay, you're taking them through the journey of showing them you know, the different angles in your different item photos, and then they read the item description and they start going down the journey even further to figure out if they want to purchase this or maybe come back later and purchase it or maybe look at what else you have to offer in your shop. So it's all a journey from start to finish. And when they get onto your item description, you have to keep them going on that journey. So I'm going to talk to you today about some tips on how you can make your item description more likely to be read. Okay, so one of the ways that you want to do this is by keeping your item description easy to read. I don't know if you've ever stumbled upon an item description before, uh, not, not just on Etsy, anywhere where it's just one big jumbled mess and you look at it and you're like, I don't want to look at that. That's too much for me right now. And you just bounce right away. Um, so you're trying to combat that natural human quality that quite honestly has probably been made worse by our instant gratification internet, age of the internet. And one way to do that is by using sections. So think of the main things that you want to uh, tell your customers about this item. For example, what's awesome about it, um, you know, what the dimensions are, how they can contact you, things like that, and um, title them, you know, make little sections. And then another way that you can make it really interesting and easy to read, mostly easy to read, is by using bullet points. So you want to, um, you're, you're taking all the information, you're breaking it down into easy to read chunks in a very organized fashion. So bullet points is another great um, little trick to use in your item description so that people will actually be able to read through it. And sometimes they're jumping around, but they can easily see what they need to get to when you have those sections and those bullet points. Okay, so number one was keeping it easy to read. Number two is keep a positive tone. I often see this mistake in item descriptions where people think they need to put things in there like, I don't accept returns, so don't even ask, um, or something like that. Some other thing that's not positive in their item description. And that's not the place for an item, uh, for anything that's anything other than positive. Okay. You can put your, if you don't accept returns, you can put that on your policies and it's there for anyone who needs that information, but keep anything that's other than a positive tone out of your item description, because you, the purpose of that item description is to sell your item. Never forget that. Keep it positive. Um, and think about, you know, the experience you'd want to have if you were reading through somebody's um, item description. You want to sound, you want it to feel like it's a friendly, welcoming 
welcoming place and also that the person who wrote it the shop owner you know in our cases is a someone that you want to do business with so keep it positive keep it easy to read and then you'll start to see hopefully more conversions and more sales in your Etsy business. Now, because I know that um, for myself, writing an item description wasn't easy in the beginning. It took me a long time to get to a place where I um, felt confident about what to say in my item descriptions. I actually um, include in my free five-day training my exact uh, item description so basically a copy and paste template that you can use for your own shop. If you'd like to get that, you can sign up for my free training at vintagepreneuruniversity.com slash free training. And if you like, I'll link to it in the notes below for you as well. And if you liked this video, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell as well so you get notified whenever a new video comes out and you don't miss a thing. Thank you very much for joining me today and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.